Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel and, um, well, in my top 10 list of favorite radios, we have to include, of course, a couple of SDRs that I think are uh, pretty nice. And I'll have also a honorable mention uh, to talk about. So in my top 10, of course, RSP devices. Um, whatever one you will choose as an entry level um, no, you know, not too difficult to install because you don't have to do any, you know, driver manipulation or changes uh, compared to some of the cheaper SDRs. I think entry level uh, and performance that you get out of them, the SDR play devices are great. So what you see here is, of course, the screen of what it looks like when it's running with the frequencies and the waterfall of all the signals. Um, my SDR play device is an RSP DX, but the entry level RSP 1A is amazingly great. It works from the start. You just plug it in and, you know, you install the software, you plug it in and it will work out of the box. No fussing. Of course, there is a learning curve on an SDR and it's learning to use the software that controls the radio. The RSP DX is a more advanced version. Uh, first of all, it has an additional uh, low-pass filter. It has a, um, a high-performance uh, mode, which is much better for lower frequencies. So the uh, high dynamic range mode is, is nice for that. Uh, you, of course, have three antenna inputs. That is also very nice because if you have multiple antennas, rather than switching between antennas with an antenna switch or whatever, you just do it in the software, choose antenna A, B, C. It is a wideband receiver also. They're all wideband receivers. There's the RSP Duo, which is a receiver that is unique because it has two receivers within the same radio. So you can actually do a lot of uh, different things, including diversity tuning and, um, you know, listening in to two radios at the same time can be fun at times, with, depending on the types of signals you want to listen to and so on. So the air... SDR play device is definitely a winner uh, for entry-level SDR and uh, the RSP1A, I think, for performance, ease of use uh, for the install, and uh, what you get is up there in the top 10 for me. So SDRplay.com, as you see here, I'll post a link to the... Uh, to the um, to the uh, website if you want to check out their devices. Uh, they're available across different uh, outlets, uh, Radio World here in Canada, a ham radio outlet in the United States. So uh, really, really nice devices. I've been using the RSP1A, first of all, for um, a while, and now that I've uh, got the RSPDX, lovely devices, a lot of fun to use, and uh, definitely great entry to the world of SDRs, and of course... Once you go into the world of SDRs, you'll notice that uh, there's a lot, a lot more than you can do. And it is just an amazing world. Um, seeing a waterfall with all the signals and everything is a game changer for me and a game changer for many that use radios. Of course, you have to use a computer or a tablet. So that means that it could not, you know, it's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to do that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.